I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy, y'all the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rapping like that. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, RiceGangClothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. Mike P versus Ryder just went down. Salute to both of the MCs. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Um, that was a phenomenal battle, man. I mean, both of these guys was wigging. Ryder comes out, he's wilding all through his rounds. Mike P's wilding through his, oh, and if you wanna know, in the um, media tournament, the battle rap media tournament, me versus the other guy who makes 100 blogs about me, I won, clearly, no debating. This is for you, you couldn't fuck with me on an off day. But anyway, Mike P versus Ryder. Oh, man, oh my God. Uh, it's so many ways that I can unpack this. I could unpack this like it, it You got to see this first of all if you did not see this um, I will say this man Ryder with a very very complete performance man bars punches angles took a f crazy angle in his second round um, I got a couple bars written down uh, Ryder, he says, do you believe in a parallel universe? Talks about Mike P moving down south. Then he says, your girl came up to the east and did the same for me. Oh, he's bugging on him. Like, he's wilding. Uh, he said, if your bitch name in my contact, we've been in contact. And he starts talking about Mike P's girl or whatever the case may be. Ryder saying that, you know, he cracked that. And then he was saying, uh, he took his style. <clears throat> the Hadouken, you get her throat, I used it like that. Ryder, will you start rapping like that? Ryder, will you start rapping like that? Will you start rapping like that? I can't wait to see my boy Showtime SP. I got you on this one, Showtime. I got you. I got you. Don't worry. Oh, yeah, Battle Rap Media Tournament. I won again. <laughs> we knew that. We knew that, right? It was 73 to 20 something anyway, right? <laughs> Easy work. But anyway, um, Mike P comes out in his joint. Uh, he talks about him being in Cave Gang. This is the second round. I started writing down notes in a second. Uh, the sets you rep had you left for dead. Like he was talking about being a goonie, then being Cave Gang. Both sets that he rep left him for dead. Mike, that was fire. Ryder, just, just stay by yourself. No more cruise, no more none of that shit. Uh, just, just dolo. Dolo, okay? Dolo. Um, he said, uh, Ryder in the ring becomes Ryder Mez in the alleyway. I love the Ryder, Ryder Mez flip. Um, Mr. Name My Guns never made a name for himself. Uh, Ryder, I had Mike P. Um, I had Mike P. in the first. Mike P. I had Edge in the first. Ryder clearly to me with the second. Then in the third, uh, Ryder starts starts snapping again. I'm just a nigga that Mike hate to see. Isaiah Thomas, he's going ball for ball. He's wilding. Uh, soon as Soon as that bitch Mike, Mike, soon as that bitch Mike, the dead nigga, like he was flipping. Ryder had some fire material in his third. Uh, this nigga Mike P comes out in his third. He starts snapping. Um, white people in the kitchen raising on everything. I, I like that. Uh, he talked about him having the, you know, the the, the, the the fucking silk shirt on. You know what I'm saying? With the wind blow. He said, no real wind. Just rely on the fans to make you look good. No real win. Just rely on the fans to make you look good. Uh, I will say this. Um, Ryder did his thing. Mike P did his thing. It's funny that I had um, I had Mike P winning on the um, on the joint, like the the, the little uh, tournament bracket or whatever case may be. I picked Mike P to win 2-1. Focus, focus, focus. You know what I'm saying? Get it together so we can keep it together. I had Mike P, I picked him to win, you know what I'm saying, I picked Mike P to win, um, and I'm going to talk about the Saga's joint, he got washed again, um, we're going to talk about that in a few, uh, I picked Franchise to win, somehow this nigga lost, I don't know how that shit went, um, I picked Emerson Kennedy, he won, I picked Danny Myers, he won, I picked Loso, this nigga, I don't know what happened with that shit, he dropped the ball too, um, I picked 
Bill collected a win. My nigga Bill got that one. And I picked uh, Mike P to win. You know what I mean? And then um, I picked Mr. Wavy to win. He won too. So it was a good day for the game. It was a good game. We was cooking it. It was cooking. This is what we do, though. We don't lose to these goofy niggas. So uh, anyway, you had um, Mike P. He, he got the win from the judges. But to me, from the battle that I watched, I kind of had Ryder winning to win. I don't know. I'm not a judge and I don't want to be one. But I, I, I don't know. I just think Ryder, his second round was super crazy. I felt like Mike P got the third. The, the, I mean, the, Mike P got the first. And the second, the third is like super debatable. Super debatable. I think uh, Forty said she had uh, Mike P win in the second. <sighs> I see you had a dude in the background too. You gotta fix your green screen. That was nasty. But uh, shout out to you. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying you did good on the judging or whatever the case may. Be. All of the judges was pretty good. Um, Rada didn't win, but Mike P didn't lose. Let's just say it like that. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like, and I feel like, and I feel like, you know, they was both cooking. They both had some fire material. But at the end of the day, somebody gotta win. And somebody got to lose, but I just was looking at it like, damn, Riders, that was probably Riders' best performance on Ultimate Rap League altogether. That was probably, that was probably his best performance. He was really wigging. I mean, it was fire. He had a lot of dope material. Um, but at the end of the day, um, somebody got to win, somebody got to lose. Uh, I loved, I liked what Ryder had today though, man. I thought he won though, you know what I'm saying? And I think they had it down the middle. The judges went 2-2 two, two, and then the fans. You can't wait for it to come down to the fans. If it comes down to the fans, the person that you think is gonna win is probably not because it's more of a popularity contest at that point. A nigga could really vote for both people. Like it ain't like standardized, but uh, Mike P did his thing. Uh, he took a shot. You know what I'm saying? Because he was really frazzled by that angle. Like, that angle kind of had him hot. I'm not going to lie. Like, I seen Mike P with a lot of composure. But that angle by this girl and a used it, a throat that a used it, a used Like, he really, like, Ryder had a phenomenal angle. I ain't going to hold you. And that shit hit like a motherfucker. But uh, we're going to see what, what goes on with uh, the nigga Ryder and his future battles. They announced Shotgun Show versus Jada Knight Wing on Rookies versus Vets. That 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 definitely has to happen. Like that gotta happen. Like, come on. Shotgun Show, Jada Knight when they been talking shit so long. Shotgun Show is skinny shook now though, so you know what I'm saying? We're gonna see you know, how he how he handles his next battles and how he's losing weight, doing his thing phenomenally. And we're gonna see how Mike P, you know, um moves on in his future battle as far as we're on the tournament or whatever. I definitely was keeping my eye on to see if he was gonna be able to continue leveling up after having a battle just a, a couple of days ago, well, about a week or so ago, versus the Saga. But he did his thing, you know what I'm saying? You got, like, the judges picked him to win and the fans picked him as winning. So it was 50-50, but the, I think the fan vote was 48 to 52. Mike P, 52%, Ryder, uh, 48%. But I picked Mike P in the bracket, but I picked Ryder as the winner, you know what I'm saying? Like, so do you believe in the parallel universe? I do, you know what I'm saying? And I would not have been surprised if he won overall because Ryder really went crazy against a really good competition. I'm not going to lie. I screen recorded it. That was the one battle that I definitely wanted to see again. So, I mean, they got apps for that. I mean, matter of fact, it's actually packed. They got apps for that. I'm snapping back. Let's go rap for rap. But, uh, salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. A lot of people was hitting me up about the guy that I was in the bracket with on the media tournament talking crazy about me, but I don't be responding to these niggas, man. Like, I just stay quiet and I just wait until the actual battles happen. I do my talk with my work. I don't talk about or talk to these niggas. Like, I don't do that, you know what I'm saying? So, I got the, uh, you know what I'm saying, saga. I am definitely got something, we gonna have a conversation. Um, but this is what I do. I just win. Like, I don't talk about or talk to none of these niggas. I'm not going back and forth with none of them. I don't got no words for these niggas. I just win and then move on. And that's it. That's all I do. You know what I mean? I don't want to talk. I don't want to go back and forth. I don't want to debate with none of these niggas. I don't want to talk about their girl, their neighbor, their cars. I don't want to talk about none of that shit. I just come out and I just win and I move on. That's what the fuck I do. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it is what it is. And that's what it does. So you ain't got to ask what it was. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just how it goes, you know? Um, Emerson Kennedy did real well today. 
a lot of other guys did well, some people didn't do so well, you know what I'm saying? And um, this joint is being brought to you by the Nate Drink One Podcast. Salute to my guy, Nate Drink. Make sure y'all subscribe to his YouTube channel also, and I'm going. <laughs> Everybody, this is your boy Nate Drink from the Nate Drink One Sports Podcast channel. And I wanted to stop by and ask you for your support and your help on my channel and also on my show channel at A Drink of Wisdom. I drop new episodes every Saturday and you can catch me on all the social media platforms under Nate Drink One. And with that said, here go a quick snippet of one of my most recent shows. Thanks for your support and remember... Let's talk some sports, baby. And, and I'm out. The NFL has banned jersey exchanges between players for the 2020 season. What do you think of that policy, Drink? So let me get this right. So these players could spend two to three hours trading blood, saliva, sweat, but the straw that breaks the camel back is if they swap jerseys at the end of the game. Give me a break. This is stupid. Just stupid. What are we talking about here? Hey, come on. Cut me. Get the, get the hell out of here.